Hello, I'm Maruk Said, your microbiology guide. Let's explore in-depth micro techniques and uncover groundbreaking insights together on this educational journey into the fascinating realms of microbes. Shotgun sequencing explained from principles to practical applications. Table of contents. What is shotgun sequencing? Principle of shotgun sequencing. Types of shotgun sequencing. Hierarchical versus whole genome shotgun sequencing. Process of shotgun sequencing. Advantages of shotgun sequencing. Limitations of shotgun sequencing. Applications of shotgun sequencing. What is shotgun sequencing? Shotgun sequencing is a technique used to determine an organism's DNA sequence by randomly fragmenting the DNA into smaller pieces and then reassembling them using overlapping sequences. The term shotgun refers to the random and explosive fragmentation process, much like a shotgun blast. This approach was first suggested by Staden in 1979 as a way to accelerate the sequencing process, enabling larger genomes to be sequenced more quickly. The initial shotgun sequencing protocol was developed by Messing in 1981, utilizing the M13 phage vector. A year later, in 1982, Sanger employed the shotgun method to sequence the phage lambda genome. In 1995, Venter and Smith advanced this technique by developing whole genome shotgun sequencing, which they used to sequence the Haemophilus influenzae genome. Later, Venter applied this method in the late 1990s for sequencing the human genome. Today, shotgun sequencing is frequently conducted using next-generation sequencing, NGS platforms. NGS technologies are favored for their cost-effectiveness and speed, and they can efficiently manage the large volumes of data produced by shotgun sequencing. Principle of Shotgun Sequencing The principle of shotgun sequencing involves randomly breaking DNA into small fragments and sequencing each one separately. The core idea is to produce a large number of short DNA sequences through fragmentation, which are then analyzed using specialized bioinformatics tools to identify overlapping regions. These overlaps are crucial for piecing together the sequences and reconstructing the entire genome. The process begins with extracting and purifying DNA from the organism of interest. The purified DNA is then randomly fragmented into smaller pieces, each fragment is sequenced individually using various sequencing technologies, generating a vast collection of short DNA reads. Bioinformatics tools are employed to identify overlaps between these reads, enabling the reconstruction of the complete genome. Types of shotgun sequencing There are two primary methods of shotgun sequencing. 1. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing also known as clone-by-clone -clone sequencing, hierarchical shotgun sequencing involves sequencing large genomes by first cloning DNA fragments into vectors and mapping the genome before sequencing. DNA is fragmented using restriction enzymes or mechanical shearing, and these fragments are inserted into vectors like bacterial artificial chromosomes, BSCs, to create a clone library. A physical map of the genome is then created using techniques such as restriction mapping. Individual clones are selected and prepared for sequencing. The sequence data is then assembled and annotated to reconstruct the complete genome. If gaps are present, additional sequencing methods are used to fill them. This method is particularly advantageous for handling large genomes, as the mapping step provides valuable information about genome structure. However, it can be time-consuming and expensive due to the need for physical map construction and sequencing of individual regions. The Human Genome Project successfully employed this method to sequence the human genome. 2. Whole Genome Shotgun Sequencing Whole genome shotgun sequencing involves sequencing the entire genome directly without the need for an initial mapping step. In this approach, DNA is randomly fragmented into small pieces and sequenced. The sequence data is then assembled using bioinformatics tools, with the assembled sequences being annotated and analyzed to generate the complete genome sequence. 
This method is faster and more cost-effective than hierarchical shotgun sequencing, as it bypasses the need for physical map construction and individual region sequencing. However, assembling the sequenced fragments can be challenging, and the lack of a physical map complicates data analysis. Craig Venter and his colleagues successfully used this method at Celera Genomics to sequence and assemble the human genome, achieving the goal more rapidly than the Human Genome Project. If you have watched till here, don't forget to subscribe to Family of Science Lovers. Press the bell icon button so you are always updated. Hierarchical versus Whole Genome Shotgun Sequencing When comparing hierarchical shotgun sequencing and whole genome shotgun sequencing, there are several key differences. Method Hierarchical shotgun sequencing involves sequencing individual clones in an ordered manner. In contrast, whole genome shotgun sequencing involves sequencing random fragments of the genome. Physical map. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing requires the creation of a physical map before sequencing can begin. On the other hand, whole genome shotgun sequencing does not require a physical map. Time. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing is more time-consuming due to the multiple steps involved, while whole genome shotgun sequencing is faster as it skips the physical mapping step. Suitability for genome size. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing is better suited for large and complex genomes. Meanwhile, whole genome shotgun sequencing is more efficient for sequencing smaller genomes. Computational requirement. Hierarchical shotgun sequencing is less computationally complex, requiring fewer resources. In contrast, whole genome shotgun sequencing is more computationally complex, demanding higher computational resources. Process of shotgun sequencing. The process of shotgun sequencing is divided into the following seven steps. 1. Sample preparation. This initial step involves collecting and processing environmental or biological samples for DNA extraction. Various physical and chemical methods are used to extract the DNA. The cells are first lysed to release their DNA, which is then separated from other cellular components. 2. DNA fragmentation. The extracted DNA is then randomly fragmented into smaller pieces using methods such as sonication. The random fragmentation ensures an unbiased representation of the genome. The fragments undergo end repair to create blunt ends, making them suitable for adapter ligation. 3. Library construction. This step involves preparing the DNA fragments for sequencing. The DNA fragments, now with ligated adapters, are amplified to create a library of fragments ready for sequencing. This library, containing all the prepared DNA fragments, is then loaded onto the sequencing platform. 4. Sequencing Each fragment is independently sequenced, with multiple rounds of sequencing performed on the same DNA sample to generate a vast number of short reads. Shotgun sequencing utilizes various high-throughput sequencing technologies to quickly generate large amounts of sequence data from randomly fragmented DNA. The raw sequence data is processed to determine the nucleotide sequence through base calling. 5. Assembly The sequenced data is then used to assemble the short DNA reads into longer contiguous sequences, known as contigs, by aligning and assembling overlapping fragments. Any gaps between contigs are filled using additional sequencing techniques or bioinformatics tools. Quality control measures are applied to remove low-quality reads and adapter sequences before assembly, and post-assembly checks ensure the quality of the contigs and correct any errors. 6. Annotation and Analysis The assembled genome is then annotated to predict the structure and function of the genes, including both structural and functional annotation. Non-coding regions, including regulatory elements, are also identified. This step is crucial for transforming raw sequence data into meaningful biological information. 7. Data interpretation and reporting. The final step involves analyzing and interpreting the annotated data to draw conclusions about the genome, followed by reporting the results.
Advantages of Shotgun Sequencing Shotgun sequencing is more cost-effective compared to traditional methods, as it reduces the time and resources needed for genome sequencing. It can handle large amounts of DNA samples and is capable of sequencing entire genomes. Shotgun sequencing is fast, allowing for the simultaneous sequencing of numerous DNA fragments without the need for time-consuming mapping steps prior to sequencing. It can process millions of fragments at once, generating vast amounts of data in a short period. Limitations of Shotgun Sequencing Shotgun sequencing produces vast amounts of data, which require substantial computational resources and advanced bioinformatics tools to assemble the short sequence reads into a complete genome. Assembling complex genomes, especially those with repetitive sequences, can be challenging and may result in errors. Incorrect assembly due to repetitive sequences or sequencing errors can lead to inaccurate genome reconstruction. When errors occur in shotgun sequencing, additional sequencing using more labor-intensive methods may be necessary. Some regions of the genome may not be covered by any sequenced fragments, resulting in gaps in the assembled genome. Regions with low complexity may be underrepresented or entirely missed in shotgun sequencing. Applications of Shotgun Sequencing Shotgun sequencing is utilized in whole genome studies, playing a crucial role in understanding genetic variations and mutations associated with rare diseases and various types of cancer. It is widely applied in metagenomics to analyze the genomes of microbial communities in environmental samples. In clinical diagnostics, shotgun sequencing is valuable for detecting genetic disorders and pathogens directly from patient samples. It aids in identifying non-coding regions of the genome, which is essential for understanding gene functions and expression patterns. Shotgun sequencing is also employed in forensic science for the analysis of forensic DNA samples. Additionally, it can improve the accuracy of existing reference genome sequences by removing errors, filling gaps, and correcting inaccuracies. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button. Thank you!